our partners can rely on us and our competitors will need to keep reckoning with us. To my mind, our foreign policy responsibility, Mr. President, starts with a frank and undistorted look at the world. And the speakers at this General Assembly over the last two days have been unusually open in their endeavors here. And indeed, the global situation today is in any respect sobering. The fall of Kabul marks a turning point. We have achieved our goal of defeating those who wrought horrendous terror on this city 20 years ago. But despite immense endeavor and investment, we were not able in 20 years to establish a self-sustaining political order in Afghanistan. My country also shares responsibility, and we have an ongoing responsibility, particularly towards the many Afghans who had hoped for a more peaceful, free and democratic future. Yet I believe we need to ask ourselves, what conclusions do we draw from this failure? What lessons can we learn and what tasks do we feel able to perform, having had to acknowledge that we wanted too much? I am convinced that resignation resignation would be the wrong lesson to draw. To my mind, this moment of geopolitical disenchantment contains three messages for our foreign policy. We need to be